Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be doing some mailbag time and a um, channel update video. So currently I have, there's been a lot of ESCs coming out and I've been getting, uh, I did order a couple of them like the uh, T-Motor D-Shot 1200 ESCs, those are on the way. The Emacs ones are on the way and I also got some of these Hobby Wings which uh, just arrived actually yesterday. So we are going to be noise testing these as well as some other 4-in-1 ESCs and this uh, that new Dal RC with a 4-in-1 ESC kind of stack that's actually pretty budget friendly. It's pretty insane. Um, I already started the video on it, but I still have not tested the uh, ESCs because it comes with a 4-in-1 ESC. And um, it should be, it seems like it's it's going to be pretty good. I don't know yet because I haven't tested it, but it looks nice. It's very cheap, $57. You basically get a VTX flight controller and um, the ESCs, but you don't get any OSD. So it's just a two stack. So it's, it's pretty nice. Um, I didn't want to upload the first part without doing the uh, testing on the on the bench. And um, yeah, so that'll be upcoming very soon. I think maybe today or tomorrow, Max. Sorry, I'm just going to do a quick channel update and then... Uh, just a uh, mailbag time because I got some random things, you know, or not really random things, just some things that also don't have to do with FPV. So, um, these are going to be tested very soon on channel. These are the Hobby Wing X Schroeder 30 amp um, D Shot 1200 ESCs. They look nice. I still haven't opened them, I don't know what are their specs or if they have current sensing and all that kind of crazy stuff. Uh, but from looking at it, there's no telemetry wire already pre installed. And it's very difficult to make out if there's a pad, but we'll be reviewing this very soon on the channel. All right, so another thing that I just received actually is this brushed micro. Now, I've had this before, I've had one before, and um, this is the Eoshin QX95. I had the Fly Sky version before, now this is the FR Sky version. Um, I really, really, really like this one. This one is not really, I don't know how I'm going to make a review on it, but. Um, I just love it. I'm getting this for myself right now, actually, because um, I've had this before and I know how it flies and I know how it performs and uh, I know how durable and how long it lasted me. Um, it never really broke. I just took it apart because I 3D designed and 3D printed a little micro and um, I actually took its components off of my old one and I put it there. But, you know, it was my first frame design, so it wasn't that good. But, um, yeah, this guy I really love and I really missed him, especially now since winter's coming. Uh, he's pretty fast for actually a brushed micro. I know there's faster. Uh, and uh, for brushed, I wouldn't go for tiny whoops. That's my own thing. This is my favorite brushed micro from what I've used and from what I love. And it even looks sexy too, looking at it. The camera's good. Everything about it, it just works absolutely beautiful. Um, I've never had any issues. However, it does come with clean flight. I don't know if this new one comes with beta flight. But um, it is an F3 flight controller, so we can flash uh, beta flight on there, and that's what I'm going to be doing. So if anyone would be interested in that, we can go ahead and do that. But th this guy, um, yeah, it's just it was one of my favorites, and he still is one of my favorites, and it's the only one that I trust really, because um, um, you brushed micros are very, very what do you want to say risky? Because I've bought a couple that are absolute crap; they don't even fly. Now, this one flew beautiful. So I like this one, and um, yeah, that's the reason I got it. And it's nice, and it comes with, I think, two batteries, or one battery. Let's take a look at this. comes with two batteries and a bunch of other things. comes with even a charger for you. I think back then they didn't even give me the charger. Oh, no, they did, they did, but this has, like, thingy here. So overall, I mean, it's pretty nice. Um, I really can't say much. All I could say is I've used it before, and I've I really had a lot of fun with this. I would just put the 1S batteries in my pockets and this one in like a little uh, box and then I just take it with me everywhere. So yeah, it was very fun and the batteries are very quick to charge. That's what I love also. All right. So especially you could charge these batteries off of your, uh, especially your, your, your car's, uh, you know, your cigarette lighter. So it's also a big plus to have something just to play with. All right. And uh, let's see what else we got here. Now I got some other random stuff. Well, it's not random stuff, stuff that I needed. I think this is a 3 meter USB 3.0. Um, I couldn't really find any good ones around me. So this one actually looks pretty good quality. I got this from Banggood. I don't know how good it is just yet. I haven't even plugged it in. As you see, it's still brand new. I just took it out of its box just to see it yesterday. So um, if you guys are interested, I'll let you know how this works out. And uh, I got a couple extra things. Actually, I got something pretty, pretty cool here. Oh, uh, here it is. This thing right here. So... Um, my PC is very far away from me and I need a bunch of USB 3.0 ports and that is one reason why I got this wire. However, this thing is pretty crazy. Look at this. 
you can set this on your screen monitor or on your table so i, I have my table is going to be perfect enough here so i could just stop it on my table and this will just be sticking up like this and i could just put stuff here and then just you know my peripherals and i'll be good to go however i don't know how fast it is i don't know how good it is but um also if you guys are interested i'll let you know how this works out i haven't plugged it in i just took it out of the box because i was very uh, curious to see how, how it is and what it comes with and they do give you a mail to mail um, USB 3.0 uh, USB here so I'm gonna be using it right there all right so I think last thing that I got right now there's still more in the way especially the ESCs was this I kind of needed a faster SD card reader and um, this guy looked like he was going to be it. it, was, it was, I, I paid a little extra just to make sure hopefully it is one of those 3.0 card readers, USB 3.0 card readers. I don't have USB-C on my PC. So yeah, I'm going to be trying this soon. I'm going to record a video in 4K. Uh, usually I top up, up top out around uh, 20 megabytes, I think, per second on my older SD card reader. But this hopefully should perform better since it's USB 3.0. Now the USB can just be USB 3.0 and the internals could basically be running at the same speed as the um, USB 2.0. So I don't know yet. Also, if you guys are interested, um, uh, I will make an update video. But this is just, you know, just some of the things that I've gotten. Let's just take a look at it, actually. All right. I left, I left these actually closed for a couple days for you guys. Just so we can see them together. Here it is. Um, let's see. It's pretty nice. Let me just change the type of focus here so you guys can get a better focus. There we go. So it has all the USD card type readers. So it's pretty nice. As you can see here. So yeah, it looks pretty good. Um, I don't know what to expect just yet. I haven't plugged it in. And uh, like I said, if you guys are interested, I'll let you know how it went, if it was faster, if it wasn't that fast. And these were pretty cheap, if I remember correctly. I don't really remember how much, but um, I'll have them. I'll have the links down below if you're interested. So, um, yeah, comes with a pretty nice long wire, actually. But I'm going to use this interface that's going to be sitting on top of my PC here. And then I'll test it through the interface. I'll test it without this interface thingy, and I'll test it. Uh, directly to the PC and I'll test it with this guy see if I do lose speed or not So I'm just gonna start recording a couple 4k videos and then I'll see how fast uh, it'll be So yeah, if you're interested, I'll, I'll make an update video and well, that's it guys So just stay tuned the ESCs are coming in a lot of things are coming in. I have um, the Dell RC stack uh, testing almost done and um, yeah, it should be pretty good. Hopefully I have high hopes for that one. I'll leave a link down below if you're curious what I'm talking about. It's basically like another budget Star F3S as Star F4S, um, but it's a two stack. It comes with a 4-in-1 ESC and it comes with a flight controller and the VTX put together. So it's, it's you have an extra VTX on that stack and it's $57. So it seems promising. Um, I really can't say much right now. I haven't even, I've just been looking at it and I made the video of just, just the overall overview. But um, I didn't want to release until I finished the testing and then I just do it in one video and upload it for you guys to see. And we do have more ESCs uh, that I'm going to be testing right now. And well, that's it, guys. So that's going to conclude it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you guys have any questions or any suggestions, feel free to let me know. And I will see you next time. See you guys. Take care.